Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome at long last to Let's Play Dead Space 1. You don't even know how long I've been waiting to do this one. Dead Space is such a solid, complete package of science fiction survival horror. The atmosphere, the monsters, and so much smart game design and, and great audio comes together in this super interesting fiction to make something that's really special here. This came out during a period where EA looked like it was really starting to turn itself around. It was making some really great original new IP. It came out in close proximity to Mirror's Edge. I'm gonna get started here in a second, but first, before I do that, I wanna mention real quick while we're on the main menu, if you wait long enough here at the main menu without moving your cursor around or selecting anything, you start seeing some uh, ways that Isaac can die and Twinkle Twinkle Little Star gets sung by a creepy background voice. In the early days of the channel, I did the uh, the Wii on-rail shooter, Dead Space Extraction, which is a prequel to Dead Space 1. Since then, I've come a long way, I've found my voice, uh, sorted out a lot of technical problems. I feel like now is the time to finally do Dead Space 1. So... We're set far in the future in deep space. We play as Isaac Clark, an engineer sent out to repair a mining ship, the USG Ishimura. The Ishimura was in orbit over the planet Aegis 7, and for unknown reasons began sending out distress signals before going totally silent. The setting is the first of many things I love about this game. Deep space horror. Very event horizon. Uh, so we're arriving on the USG Kellyan. We have our primary uh, protagonists, Kendra, Isaac, and Zach Hammond. Isaac, it's me. I wish I could talk to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything. I wish I could just it's all falling apart here. I can't believe what's happening. It's strange. Such a little thing. How many times you watched that thing? Guess you really miss her. Don't worry, we're almost there. You'll be able to look her up once we're on board. Sounds like you do have a lot of catching up to do. All right, everyone, we're here. Sinking our orbit now. All this trouble over that chunk of rock. Deep space mining is a lucrative business, Miss Daniels. Aegis 7 is a gold mine, according to Prospector's reports. Cobalt, silicon, osmium. Now, where is she? There she is. We have visual contact. So that's Ishimura. Impressive. The USG Ishimura. Biggest planet cracker in her class. And it looks like they already popped the cork. Why is it all dark? I don't see any running lights. Corporal, take us in closer and hail them. And stay clear of that debris field. We're here to fix their ship, not the other way around. USG Ishimura, this is the emergency maintenance team of the USG Kellyan responding to your distress call. Come in, Ishimura. You're gonna need to boost the signal if their power's low. Yes, we know. Boost the signal. More. Never heard of a total communications blackout on one of these things. You'd think with a thousand people on board, someone would pick up the phone. What is that? It's a busted array like we thought. Sounds like they're having problems with their encoder. You get us down there and Isaac and I can fix it. 48 hours max. All right, you have the lady. Take us in, let's see what needs fixing. Gravity tether's engaged. Automatic docking procedures ago. What the hell? Sir, the auto dock. What is it? We're off track. We're gonna hit the hole. Hit the flash shields. That guidance tether is damaged. Switch to manual. Now. Inside the magnetic field? Are you insane? Abort! No! We can make it inside. Corporal, gave you an order. The field's too strong.
everyone okay? What? What the hell were you thinking? Were you trying to get us killed? I just saved our asses, Miss Daniels. If we had aborted at that speed and distance, we'd have smashed right into the side of the Ishimura. Now settle down. Let's get to work. Corporal, report. I'm not getting any readings from the port booster, and we've lost comms and autopilot. It'll take some time to fix. All right. Let's get some extra hands from Flight Deck to help out. Hold still, Isaac. I'm syncing up everyone's rig with the ship. Okay, we're done. Clean bill of health for everyone. All right. We've still got a job to do. We're moving out. So the opening is one of the only chances in the game that you'll get to see Isaac's face before the end. And that ship has now sailed. As we get the money shot of the helmet, of the visor. So Isaac here is a bit of a mute. At least in Dead Space 1, uh, he actually has some voiced lines in Dead Space 2. He actually talks quite a bit in 2 and 3. The big thing to note here is there is no HUD. This is our UI. This is, it's presented in this cool holographic style and on the rig itself that's a suit. It is pretty damn cool. Damn near perfect. There's your inventory, holographic display, and uh, hitting control brings up a locator. It leads you towards your objectives, and it was a pretty late addition in the game. Welcome. You didn't lose power to the port booster. You lost the port booster. Unbelievable. Oh, the that noise. Anywhere. Isaac, get over here and hack the door pad. I love so many of this game's sound effects. Oh, I don't have my stomp yet. Huh. Eventually, I'll be able to stomp those crates open. Yeah, I won't pick that up for a moment. In the meantime, I can just kind of wander around, appreciate the glorious, amazing UI, and, uh... Some of the amazing sound effects in this, they're orgasmic, I love them. Uh, so something that throws a lot of people off about this is how tightly cropped in the camera is and how tight the FOV is. It's meant to induce a sense of really intense claustrophobia. There should be a security detail in here. Yeah? Well, there's not. There's nobody here. I can't pick up any broadcasts. Well, that security console is still live. Isaac, log in and see what you can find. Kendra, get that elevator back online. Power's dead. I can't. Then we root the damn power. Look, if we all cooperate, we can figure this out a lot sooner. Let's get that computer display up, Isaac. No one really keen to, uh, to comment on all of the blood or how disheveled the ship looks, even without the blood. Huh, that doesn't look good. She's taking a lot of damage. The tram system's offline. Getting around's gonna be difficult. The air seems to be flung again. That's a start. What the hell was that? Automatic quarantine must have tripped when the filtration system restarted. Everybody relax. What was that? Did you hear that? Not sure. What the hell? I don't know. Something's in the room with us. Jesus! Over fire! Over fire! Get the power! Get the... Come on. Come on. Got it! Isaac, get the hell out of there! The door's unlocked! Run! Oh, they mean this door. Whoops. <laughs> Ooh. So... We've met our first necromorph. Run, Isaac. Get the hell out of there. This game really does not waste any time going from zero to everything's gone pear-shaped. Real fast time to shit's popping off. Oh, yeah. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice and gory. So shit's going real bad. I'm sorry if my, like, my tone of total, like, elation is ruining the mood of this. I'll try to chill it out a little bit over time, but, like, I'm so happy to be back doing Dead Space 1. It's been so long since I've gotten a chance to play this. I really like this series. Uh, so... We got... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got uh, a note written in blood on the wall back there that said, Cut off their limbs. And since we have the plasma cutter now... Hold on. Guy on the other side of the door is having a bad time. Uh, the plasma cutter has two modes of fire. It has a horizontal firing mode and a vertical. This is important. Oh, that's not what I wanted. That was an accidental headshot. You see, that's the kind of thing that you don't want in Dead Space. The plasma cutter is not your ordinary handgun because the necromorphs aren't your ordinary monsters. The conceit of Dead Space is based around severing the limbs off of enemies. Headshots and center mass shots aren't what you aim for. They are dramatically less efficient to go for than uh, severing appendages and legs and arms. And efficiency is really important here because it's very old school in its survival horror design in that your resources get more and more limited the higher you go in difficulty. Uh, since I'm only playing on normal, I don't think I'll get too starved for ammunition or health. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah, that got me. The locator is really good at letting you know which way the critical path is so that you can turn directly around and find all of the hidden goodies. This is Benson. Everybody listen up. They use the vents. That's how they're getting around the ship. Stay away from you. Get back. Get back. I can't believe you made it. Isaac. <laughs> we ran to more of them on the way over here. Are you okay? More of what? What the hell are those things? Is that the crew? Keep your voice down. Whatever they are, they're not friendly. And half the doors on this ship are locked because of the quarantine. Now, we have to get to the bridge. But first, we gotta repair the tram system. You're crazy, Hammond. You're gonna get us all killed. If you listen to me, I will get you out of here alive. And what's wrong with the tram? The data board is fried, but there should be a spare in the maintenance bay. There's also a broken tram blocking the tunnel that needs to be repaired. Damn it! Everything is on the other side of this quarantine. We can't reach it from here. No, we can't. But you can. Isaac, if I can get to the bridge, I should be able to access the personnel files. You fix the tram, and I'll help you find Nicole. Nicole is Isaac's girlfriend who he was uh, listening to an audio log of her talking in the beginning. I very rarely use this map because the locator is just so good. I use the map so rarely, in fact, that I forgot Dead Space had a map. Uh, so here's a save station. You are not totally safe while using this. You need to kind of watch your back. Uh, also, there's a bit of mouse acceleration in this that makes it a little bit slippery to control. Alright, so we're heading this way. And again, just want to point out how perfect this UI is. 
A lot of time and energy has been spent dissecting just how good the UI in Dead Space is and why it's seamlessly integrated. Oh, you. I ain't falling for that shit. And yeah, you can- oh, no, whoa, 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 I thought the, uh, the follow-up stomp was gonna be enough to finish him, like, immediately. So yeah, you sever a leg and an arm, it will go down, no problem. You go for the head, or you try to just burn it down center mass shots to the body, uh, you're gonna waste a lot of ammo. And never trust corpses that are just mysteriously on the floor. Never ever trust that shit. Benson, Tram Engineering. We think we figured it out. Smith killed one. Listen, forget about shooting him in the body. You gotta cut off the limbs. Grab a cutter, anything like that. Cut him apart! And sometimes, uh, if you stomp a corpse apart, you can find some credits or some ammo hidden within the body. So right, the UI seamlessly... I forgot that happened. Seamlessly integrated. <laughs> Isaac, be careful. Shooting them in the body didn't seem to work. Go for the limbs. Dismember them. That should do the job. They really, really want you to know to dismember. Remember to dismember. If the goal of a game, especially a horror game, is to pull you in and immerse you, a HUD, a static HUD, usually takes you out just a little bit and reminds you that you're... Shit, man. Reminds you you're in a game. Hmm. I think that's a brute roaring. Uh. So the fact that this game offers the wealth of information that you would get from an, a, a HUD and integrates it with the the aesthetic style of the game is awesome. It's an underrated UI design. Malfunctioning, Isaac. Try using the stasis module you just picked up. So that's how we solve that problem. The, uh, the stasis meter, which you aim and fire at, uh, moving objects to slow them down, is the little blue crescent on your back next to, uh, the health running along Isaac's spine. Again, nice integrative UI design. Uh, next save station I will save... I forgot this also functions as a flashlight. There's a lot that I'm gonna rediscover about this too. Which is nice because it's been probably six years since I played this last. It was 2009 this came out, right? I have to remember not to just talk constantly, because I know a lot about this game, but I gotta let the, the sound design breathe, too. I could use a, a playlist of just some of the sound effects in this game. The door opening noise, the item pickup noise. There's a couple other really good ones, too. Your stasis module should be able to help you with that arm mechanism. The little bleep when a, when a uh, graphic pops up. The UI designer was a huge fan of sci-fi films, uh, and so he took little bits and pieces of the UI design here from Minority Report, Blade Runner, Tron, and Alien. So we have another... Oh, hey. Just you. Uh, these necromorphs, by the way, are the, uh, the most basic variants. They're called slashers. Named for the, uh, the bone scythe protrusions from their spines. They're the bones of their hosts. Listen up, car 8 is trashed. We managed to get it back to the repair depot, but now the autoloader is fried. I need a stasis module brought down here now. Uh, oh, oh, fuck! It's gonna jam up the whole system. That was good. 
Always watch out for those vents. Dead Space loves its jump scares. I thought there was going to be another. Yeah, and that's an enhanced version of the slasher. That got me real good. Alright, let's take care of this, this stasis problem. So there's that. So I'm going to hit it, and now stasis. Going to keep that in place, and then come up here. Oops. Replacing damage tram car. Please stand by. That's bad news. Isaac, you did it. The tram is blocking the whole system. When you get the computer online, you'll be able to call the tram from the control room. Faster the better. I can hear something crawling around out there. I like this corner. This corner was made for me. Yeah, here we go. So... Okay, that's you taken care of. For the slashers, it's usually about two limbs. Still standing by. Okay. No, I thought I was gonna get assaulted by way more than that. Fuck that vent. What was that? Okay, so that's a nice opening look at Dead Space. There'll be a lot more of that to come. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take it easy. Have a good one.